Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series in the Akai MPC. This is session 2.2, and today I wanted to go over, I don't know, we're just going to add a baseline in, but before we do that, one thing I want to explain is, for me, being organized is super helpful. So when I am laying out my tracks on the MPC, I usually try and think of like a this 4x4 or the 16-track grid. I'll do, I will do more if I want to make a... a, a lot more nuanced sounds but uh if i'm just kind of looking for building I don't know, i'll say the, the bones of a track or kind of getting something together to start with what i'll usually do is use the bottom row for different drum patterns or hits um, sometimes i'll use the second row for alternate patterns or hits of those so i kind of work my way up sometimes i don't have room for that to, but I'll usually use the top row, especially 13. That's where I'll put my base, and that's what I want to work with on today. So I, for me, I just find it super helpful to kind of build up that muscle memory for things that you want to bring in and drop out to kind of look at, you know, roughly um, I'll do like bass, some chords or, you know, melody on these different rows, and it just helps me kind of remember. And I, I do like to name things so that when I'm also uh, playing something live, I can kind of look over and see what's playing and then, prepare for what I'm going to either change to or something else. But anyway, I'll get into some more things as I keep working through this. But let's right now, as I said, let's just kind of get into the base. So I'm going to double tap menu, go into browser. Um, let's uh, see what's in the F9 expansion pack here. Um, yeah, I like that. That could be a... F yeah, I obviously the, it's not playing in time, but I like the sound of that with this drum kit. So we're going to go with the 8084 load that up and I'm just gonna slide right over to track 13 let's rename this to oop, one rename to base and we will uh, go to the keys get base all right um, before we start playing I'm gonna hit add perform a major maybe i don't want natural minor maybe is what we'll kind of work with but that's that this should be fun so i think i also want to double the length of this Oop, i just have to like go to double two times so we want four bars so let's see let's see how this goes to fix a few notes in here i don't know the pad sensitivity is off or something i don't know i feel like i hit those fine maybe i accidentally did a double tap i have not been having this as a problem ever but i don't know we'll see uh we're gonna go velocity this is one thing with the all right i guess you just gotta select it and roll it up i haven't used uh the new um, 2.11 much, so there's a few things I guess I just gotta get used to here for, that may have changed. Anyway, uh, pretty quick to correct some of these things. I'm also trying to listen here if I'm okay with how the bass is playing. I think I'm good with it. So, that's got a long trail to it. It could be fine. Um, Anyway, as I said, like, you know, bringing stuff in and I don't hit overdub, we're just going to play. So we can now take, uh, continue doing like the track mutes. Gonna break stuff in and out. So might need some uh, ducking from the kick over to the bass, but. I don't know, we'll kind of see as we keep building this track out what makes sense. So, anyway, I guess that's it for today, guys. Keep making music, keep having fun, stay hydrated, stay cool, take it easy, and peace.